Hi, my name is Cold Bear and let's start with No Man's Sky. Yeah, your voyage is up to you. Will you be a fighter preying on the weak and taking their delicious potato salad by force, or a merchant who will find rich resources on forgotten worlds and exploit them for the highest prices? Or maybe an explorer? Go beyond the known frontier and discover places and things that no one has ever seen before. Like, you know, vodka without hangover, Nobel Prize guaranteed. That's not how Nobel Prize works. Oh, shut up. No Man's Sky procedure really generates the whole universe. It's still a bit smaller than your mama, but it will be enough for you to dive in for a few days at least, or maybe more. A lot of people who left comments on Steam have from 20 to 150 hours of playtime. That is a nice number for this prize, that's for sure. Terminator Resistance I remember seeing a trailer of this game a few years ago and I was like, eh, this probably will be a flop and I ignored it on my false prejudice for years. Why false? It has 92% of positive reviews on Steam, only 3% short from overwhelmingly positive titles, so it's almost a masterpiece. So Terminator Resistance is a first-person shooter set during the Future War scenario which was only glimpsed in the first two iconic movies. The machines are destined to lose, but at what cost? So basically, he will run and gun or sneak and hack through Skynet's defenses. Level up your skills and explore a post-apocalyptic world for scraps to trade and craft, also interact with other survivors and change their fates. People on Steam are talking that this is the real Terminator 3, as it should have been. It contains an amazing atmosphere, also interesting story and developed characters. Most people are recommending to buy it for the full price without any doubts, but boy oh boy, aren't you lucky today. 60% discount is a treat you may want to feast on, that's for sure. Solasta, Crown of the Magister in Solasta, you take control of four heroes, each with unique skills that complement one another. Every hero expresses himself in the adventure, making each action and dialogue choice a dynamic part of the story. You will create your heroes just as you would in pen and paper game by choosing their race, class, personality and rolling for their stats. Well, sadly, you can't have full freedom here anyway. If you want to play as a talking hairy balls from space, it's not an option here and that's a shame. This choice should be available in every RPG game altogether with Potato Salad Man, Beer Bender, and Stan from Cold Berry Stan. So, in general, if you like games like Baldur's Gate, this should be a no-brainer for you. Solasta has very positive reviews, although I just noticed one weird thing. Solasta isn't compatible with Steam Deck. May not be a big deal now, but in the future it can really hurt the sales. Anyway, great game, you have my sincere recommendations. Feria Board of Gwent and Hearthstone? No problem, try Feria, he will find enough content to keep you entertained for hours. Basically, if you like Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering, then you may very well like the deck building aspects of Feria as well. The game involves tactics as well as strategy, since it uses a hex board which makes it stand out from similar games. Also, graphics and style will blow you, well, at least your mind. The game used to be free, but now it's not. It got a lot of negative reviews because of that, but don't worry, the game is still great, it's just not free anymore. I can only guess that the message Feria is trying to send us sounds like Stop being poor or something. Well, that's rude, Feria. Wow, j just wow. You can't say that to people. Let them be poor as long as they like. Pray for the gods. I remember when this poor game had to change its name from the normal Pray for the Gods to this abomination because developers were threatened by mighty Bethesda not to use the word Pray in their game's name. That was below low for Bethesda. A petty move just to show their power. What a shame, when I remember this I throw up inside a little. Anyway, Pray for the Gods is a nice game. People on Steam are talking that if Shadow of Colossus and Hellblade had a baby, it would look something like that. Although if you are a true fan of Shadow of Colossus, I must warn warn you, this is not Shadow of Colossus, it's not a sequel either and you shouldn't be surprised or angered that this game has different controls, mechanics and, you know, other things. If you are a fan, look at this game as you would look at the frozen pizza. It's not the best pizza available, but hey, there is no way that you would say no to it while being hungry. Detroit Become Human here, your decisions will dramatically alter how the game's intense branching narrative plays out. Here, choices really matter, not like in real life. Basically, the whole game is built around your choices. You can't do anything here except to choose what to do next in certain situations. Every decision you make, no matter how small, affects the outcome of the story. And in this game, no playthrough will be exactly the same. You can replay again and again to discover a totally different conclusion, sometimes absolutely unexpected one. Well, let's be honest, you probably won't do that many times, but it's nice to know that the ending you got is really unique. Also, you can try free demo version on Steam. Transistor 
It is made by the same company who made the critically acclaimed game Hades, so the graphic style and gameplay may look familiar to many of you. Transistor is a sci-fi themed action RPG that invites you to wield an extraordinary weapon of unknown origin as you fight through a stunning futuristic city. That weapon is obviously very heavy or maybe you are just weak, maybe your mama never gave you potato salad when you were little, what a shame. Anyway, Transistor may not be what you expect it to be if you played Hades. It's not a hack and slash game after all, the combat style reminds me, I don't know, Knights of the Old Republic probably, where you schedule a sequence of moves and then unpause the game to watch the unfolding action. So be sure you like that, but in general it has 94% of positive reviews and this price is nice. Narita Boy this is a retro futuristic game where you are Narita Boy, a legendary digital hero in an epic quest of simultaneous dimensions. The digital kingdom is under attack and you are the last hope of survival. You will have to explore a vast world to find the Techno Sword, the only effective weapon against the threat. That sounds nuts and also really cool. People on Steam are talking that Narita Boy has great music and a huge variety of monsters and vehicles. You can even ride a floppy disk. How cool is that? Not as nice as riding your sister. Oh, come on! <laughs> Although the least favorite part for almost everyone is platforming. Most of the players agree that dying by just jumping is way more common than dying from some monster and that irritates a lot of people. Also, the story sounds cooler than it actually is, but in general the game is a proud owner of a very positive review score and that is always a good sign. Hell Let Loose this is a hardcore World War II first-person shooter with epic battles of 100 players with infantry, tanks, artillery, a dynamically shifting frontline and a unique resource-based RTS-inspired metagame. People on Steam are talking that 80% of the time you will spend either dead, walking or heavily suppressed. You can't spawn half the time without getting insta-killed by artillery or accurate fire, but the fact is that you don't mind. Those few moments when you kill somebody who has just spawned are precious and you would not give them up for anything. And very positive reviews of this game ain't gonna let me lie to you. Only disadvantage here is the price. It's still quite high if you weren't planning to buy this game anyway. Arise, a simple story. You will control the flow of time and change your surroundings from the shifting of seconds to entire seasons. Fast forward, move back or pause time to relive your memories and overcome every obstacle on your journey. This is an adventure through the changing landscapes of memories lush with feelings. So it will drain your inner feelingometer like crazy. Be sure that you want something like that. Usually I'm not a fan of emotional manipulations in games that are created for this purpose alone. You know, if you watch some drama or thriller and then you get emotional moments, it's really cool, but if you are flooded with a feeling alone, it may be hard to bear that. You know, mayonnaise is nice, but if you have only mayonnaise as your whole meal, it's even better. I'm sorry, there is no moral here. So the game is only 1% short from overwhelmingly positive reviews. That emotional manipulation works really well. You may want to give yourself in after all. Also, have you checked the GOG weekly sale? It's happening right now with hundreds of discounted games. Click on my link in the description below and explore it without any regrets. On GOG even refunds are supported for up to 30 days. And now, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!